So, but today what we are gonna do is we are gonna test out the Ryobi 11 inch uh, extension with a, a flexible shaft. So I actually need this right now because I'm doing uh, a few things on the boat. So we're gonna test that out first and we're gonna do a little stress test afterwards. And in the future, I am gonna get the other brand versions and see which one actually holds up better without breaking the shaft. So I did have a couple of cheap ones, a really cheap ones that I got free in kits and they they broke immediately. And so actually I think I have one right here. Yes, uh, this broke immediately. And so, and so yeah, so this, uh, this if you get this type of uh, extension, a flexible shaft is no good. So I decided to get a metal one and so we're gonna test this out today, see if we can do what I needed to do, and then uh, do a little stress test. And like I said, I'm gonna get the other brands, we're gonna have a stress test video to see which one breaks first. Alrighty, so this is a extremely simple unboxing. It's not really an unboxing, but we do gotta get it out. All right, so it is it is flexible. And that's pretty much it, let's see. I need a standard P2 bit. PH, I need a standard PH2 bit. It is magnetic. Oh, that's actually a strong magnet in there that's yeah that's a very strong magnet ma magnet in there all right let's give this a test see how well this does i want those right there and that right there all right, so let's see how this goes There we go. Hoop, 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 hoop. Yeah, I don't want, I can't strip that screw. Let's see if I can get that in there. So, so far using the, ex, uh, using extensions sucks. I do not recommend it, but we'll, we're, I'm going to finish this up. What we're going to do is we're, we are going to go back into the shop and uh, just see what this takes uh, to what, see, see what this could really do. Cause I, I cannot strip screws right now because the more s screws I strip, the more holes I have in my boat. So I'm good on that. So let's go back to the shop. So obviously this was not good to do what I wanted to do on the boat because it was stripping the screws and I could I don't need those I don't want those screws stripped. So we are going to try this out on a log with a couple of uh screws and see what what this could actually do now. When it comes to this, I never believed in these things anyways because they just end up binding itself twisting itself into it into itself a two and a half inch screw so i want to do this bent like this because that's the point of using this type of device so i'm going to try my best it's on speed one it's on drill we all right so let's see if this can do this yes it can all right, so that did drive that in. Let's see if we can take it out without binding itself. Yes, it can. All right, so it, success, it successfully drove in a two and a half inch screw. So let's see what this can do with uh, six inch specs. Yeah, 
right here should be good. All right, so ready? Go. All right, so nope. That failed. Nope. See, as you can see, it's twisting. That's just a bit too tough. Let's see if we can take it out. Yep. It, it barely drove that in uh, a quarter of an inch before this started twisting up. Specs might be too hard. It's, uh, now remember, we're testing the limits out on this. That's all we're doing. Let's try a timber lock. Right here should be good. All right, so ready, go. Nope. It's unable to do the timber lock. And every time you, every time that happens, you're just wearing that out. So I, I this might actually die soon. I, it's still working. I'm amazed of that, that it is still functioning. Ready? Go. Almost. Oh, almost did it. Nope. That's about as much torque as it's going to give. So we could take it out. Ow. Nope. Not a, see it as you do it more, the more messed up it's going to get. Actually, it's not broken yet. But let's let's take this out. Actually, let's drive it in without that. Much better. Let's take it out. All right. 12 volt tool, by the way. 12 volt tool. Let's do one more screw, regular screw. Here is good. All right, so ready? Go. Yeah, it's able to do a screw like that into regular wood. Take it out. And there you go. But this was, this was not able to do, this was not able to drill a screw through fiberglass. It was only able to drill through wood. Uh, a, so like that's what pretty much these are designed for. Now, like I said, like I say in previous videos, we test the crap out of tools to see what their max is. And yeah, I, I, for obvious reasons, the bigger uh, timber locks and power lags and specs are way too much uh, to, to handle for a tool like this. Now, I, I am going to get other brands and we are going to do a versus video to see what they, uh, between DeWalt Milwaukee and other uh, Makita, other brands to see what they can do against the Ryobi one. If you got a cheaper one than this, it would have broke on the boat and I wouldn't even be able to do the, the ending of this video. So it did survive what I just put it through, which is good. So yeah, well, that's its purpose. That's uh, So that's its main purpose, just to do little screws in a tight area. So it actually did a, it actually did a pretty good job for what it's supposed to do. Now, I do put these tools through the extreme to see if they break, and this did not. It did not break. So uh, this was at 11 bucks over at Home Depot. So, so yeah. So I just wanted to test this out to see if I could actually use this in a real-life scenario, and I was not because it was not able to do the a punch through the gel coat of the boat and the fiberglass of the boat. So, so that's pretty much it. So if you found this video helpful, please like this video and please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.